the same with our spiritual growth. So it's important to understand what is my seed, as indeed what I really want. And once you become that clear, then it is easy to grow because you have a clear picture. Then it's almost like whatever you do will become like the uh, uh, how to say mm, uh, favorable conditions in order to grow that seed. You know? So second thing when it says uh, make your mind uh, one with Dharma means that uh, don't think not thinking that samsara or nirvana or, or suffering or all these are something out of somewhere and secondly of course whether we talk about dharma or non-dharma it really depends on whether uh, am I taming my mind or not so because of that uh, it is said that how to practice dharma when you do something and by doing that, if it increases your this disturbing mind, ego or uh, whatever it is, that is non-dharma. And when you do something physically, mentally, verbally, if it decreases your this disturbing mind, if it makes you a little bit calm, if it makes you a little bit free within yourself, and this is a dharma that you should follow it. So, in the text it says that the activity or behavior that comes from the attachment, anger and the ignorance, this is what we call non-virtue, non-dharma. And whatever activities you do that is not influenced or driven by the attachment, anger and the ignorance, you can call it dharma or virtues. So one thing that Buddhists talk about virtues and non-virtues is a little bit extraordinary because it's not decided by Buddha or some rules. It is based on if something that disturbs us, if something that produces suffering directly or indirectly through mentally, verbally or behaviorally. This is what we call the non-virtuous act. If something that helps you to develop your these positive aspects of it brings happiness, calmness to yourself, to others, and this is what we call the uh, virtues. So, virtues and non-virtues is not just based on Buddha said or uh, it is according to his teaching and because of virtues. It's not really like that. So, if something that is according to the law of nature, that is virtue. And if something that is according to the goes against that, against that then you can call it non-virtues. <clears throat> So what I was trying to say today is that uh, practicing as um, Mujitomi said in his uh, very beginning of uh, 37 practice that all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas came by practicing Dharma but practicing Dharma is important but knowing how to do it properly, genuinely, is even more important. Because it's all about uh, working with the mind. And working with the mind could be very tricky, you know. So, uh, and sometimes line between the Dharma and non-Dharma is also very thin. And because of that, many many lamas instructions they always said that 
you should check your mind three times a day, six times a day, even every time before you start talking, walking or anything, each activity that you do in daily. And also, before you go to the bed, you should always analyze your day. So these are some um, very foundation, but I think essential. And asking question oneself, in order to have this genuine heart of sadness, the renunciation, uh, not just renunciation based on hope and fear, but the renunciation based on wisdom and the insight. Uh, in order to have that, it's important to ask ourselves genuine question, and we should get some genuine answer within ourselves, and then following that answer would be, I think, the uh, essential to recognize our own genuine renunciation and to develop that renunciation as well. Okay, so I will stop here today and maybe I will continue tomorrow. <coughs> By this merit may all attain the prescience, may it defeat the enemy of joy, from the stormy waves of birth, old age, sickness and death, from the ocean of samsara, may I free all beings.